Hermione, Ron, and Harry researched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. Just like filter somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Incendio! 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 
Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up! Good luck, Harry. All right. Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. That's 
really confusing. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Curses, Potter! You will not succeed again! Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this.
Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. 
storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. Ha ha ha.